from Valdez, North Carolina today. We're going to do a walkthrough review on this 30 by 40 by 12 metal building. Uh, as you can see, it is a two-tone deluxe. This building does feature uh, six 24 by 36 inch windows, one man door, and as you can see, two 10 by 10 roll-up doors. left hand side we have 24 by 36 inch windows in this case the customer did not want our standard windows which is perfectly fine what he did was he went to Home Depot purchased these and our guys put them up for him on site you can see he also got the, the two-tone deluxe he did get color matching screws sandstone for the top clay for the bottom he also requested to have the top trim color matching, bottom trim color matching. Typically what we do is the whole trim will be one color, um, but he requested it and we delivered. The customer also got color matching gutters and downspouts. You can get these in any color. All you have to do is just message us what color you need and we provide it for you. You have two 10 by 10 with string. You can see very nice trim work by our guys. Very precise. Two more 24 by 36 inch windows. You do have the option to have gutters and downspouts um, on one side or both, completely up to you. This customer actually got them on both sides of his building. He also purchased his man door at Home Depot. Same thing with the windows. Our guys put them up for him on site. What we do on the concrete is we overlap the bottom panel whether it's vertically oriented like this one or if it's horizontal we overlap it by about two inches that way you have no water issues or small bugs entering your building moving on to the interior of the building what this customer did was he purchased Prodex insulation beforehand and our guys also put it up for him. As you can see, it is tightly fitted between the metal frame and the metal sheeting. He also does get those perpendicular cross members with the vertical siding. And since this is a, a 30 foot wide structure, the truss system is welded as opposed to bolted on a 24 or less wide structure. This customer went the extra mile and also added epoxy floors as well, which is why we cannot enter the building at the moment. We do receive a lot of questions as to how big your concrete pad should be. So for a building this size, it is a 30 by 40. So what we recommend is for your pad to be the exact same size as the frame itself. So exactly a 30 by 40. And what we do is we actually weld a piece of tubing onto every leg post and from there we bolt on with our concrete wedge anchors that are about six inches long onto your footer which is most of the time the case. You can see we do go all around the building. On every leg post we do weld that piece of tubing. do it in your area messages at 336-710-8099 we'll get you a free quote fast and 
We hope you have a good one.